Hello, Gemi Gente. Today we're going to be talking about energy and different types of energy. And uh, pretty much for whoever is new to my channel, welcome. Bienvenidos. And for those who are returning to my channel, welcome back. And those people also know that this channel is about hair, skin, and health. And a part of your health is energy. So we're going to be focusing on that today. And with that being said, estoy aquí con otro video y vamos a comenzar. Okay guys, so energy is something that is super important for our bodies. It's something that runs through our bodies that we rely on day after day after day. However, we have to understand the type of energy that we are actually around and energy that we actually allow into our bodies, into our atmosphere and different things of that nature. And I say that to say that you need it for whatever it is that your day entails. Energy is needed. However, not all energy is good energy. And let me explain. Now, when it comes to your health, you wanna have good energy around you. You wanna incorporate things that give you energy so that you can be, so you can have a very productive day or you can have productive days in your, in your week. But the reason why I'm bringing this topic up is because when it deals with your health, not only does your physical energy play a significant part in you getting things done, you have to be super careful about the type of energy that you have around you with the people that you have around you. Now, for example, right? I consider myself a people's person but I don't like people and I know some of you are like how can you be a people's person and you don't like people now there's only a select a few people that will understand that what I just said because they're probably the same way but the reason why I say I'm a people's person and, and but I don't like people is because I consider myself a people's person because I know how to deal with people but I don't like people because of their intentions. You know, not everyone has the intentions of someone who's going to be a team more so than to benefit themselves. For example, you have people, you have a person like um, that goes to work and they collect a paycheck, but they didn't work for the, for the paycheck. You know, but they they looking forward to the paycheck. Like, oh, I'm gonna come to work, do nothing, and then I'm gonna get paid. And we're gonna keep doing that until you know it's no longer possible to do that or whatever. And then you have those other people who feel like you know what they genuinely want to be a team. They want you to rise. They want to rise with you. They want one hand to wash the other they want i scratch your bag you scratch my bag whatever term that you would like to use in order to uh express the fact that this person or these this group of people are for you or for us they're the us people not the me people so i say that to say that um you have some you know you have energy snatchers you know it's a, it takes a lot for a person to get the nerve to get the uh, motivation to do a lot of things that they have to do in life because life is always life. Reality is always reality at the end of the day. And regardless of if you're ready for it or not, it's still there. It's still gonna be reality. It's still gonna be, you know, life. And at some point you have to understand like, hmm, is it okay for me to have certain people in my life? Or am I paying enough attention to the people that are in my life and what their intentions are because I don't want to be taken advantage of. I don't want a person to just 
you know, use me as something uh, or someone that they could just benefit from. And then once they've used me up, then it's kind of like, okay, moving on. Like, do you want something like that to be your situation? Now, when I speak to you guys, I'm usually speaking from some form of experience because like I said, I am a people's person. I just don't like people. Now, me being a people's person, it allows me to analyze a lot of things about their personalities and um, what it is that, like how they interact in general. And it's been a few different times where I've seen certain people's characteristics rear its ugly head. And the fact that they weren't actually I guess using that that energy towards me, I seen that they were still capable of ugliness. Like, and not ugliness as in they're physically, you know, ugly. I'm saying like that part of them is is active. You know, like that the, the fact that they can actually take advantage of someone or just, you know, treat people in a, a certain type of way. And, and then it, it's, it's like, oh, I'm not treating you like that. And I'm not gonna treat you like that. So we're, you know, it's, cool but then I, I see it and I'm like hmm that's different you know and at the same time it's kind of like those are the same people that you know find trouble those are the same people that you know you can't take anywhere without there being something you know wrong or you know or if there's a group of people they like to put on some sort of a show potentially and it just it, it sickens me. It actually turns my stomach because I'm like, why don't you just feel comfortable enough in your own skin to just be you? If people don't like you for you, then obviously you're around the wrong people. But if you got to put on some sort of a show and try to make it seem like, oh, because you know, sometimes they'll, the, the, the weak person, the actual weak person would try to pick someone that in their mind is weak and they'll prey on that person and they'll pick on that person and try to make, you know, that person you know, the butt of all of their jokes or whatever the case is. And then I, I just look from afar and I'm like, dang, like, it, is, is your life really that sad? You know, is, is it really that bad for you? Because, you know, I understand joking or whatever. I understand, you know, people, they kind of like, you know, if, you, if you're amongst your friends and, you know, you guys vibe like that, then it's nothing. It, it doesn't, it, no one's you know, reading into anything or whatever the case is. However, I've experienced certain people on the outside, because you know, if you come for me, <laughs> I'm coming back for you. It's not one of those, oh, you just came for me and I just, and I'm going, just stay came for. Like, we don't, <laughs> we don't do that over here. We, like, if you feel like you have to express yourself, I'm going to be quiet and let you express yourself. But when it's my turn, it's on. And you better be able to take whatever it is that I have to say, because at the end of the day, you felt free to say whatever you wanted to say and you expressed yourself out and, or you called yourself doing whatever you was doing. And it's kind of like, okay, well, you know, that's cool. But understand that this is a back and forth thing. This is not one of those, oh, you just going to keep bagging on me, bagging on me. And I'm just going to be like, <laughs> no. um, mm -mm. nope, I'm a clap back. I'm always a clapback, and at the end of the day, it's kind of like, yeah, I choose my clapbacks because at the end, at the same time, not all situations are worth a clapback. It's kind of like some people they just embarrass themselves enough to be on some, you know what? I'm gonna just let you rock with that. I'm gonna let you rock with that because you feel you you felt the need to do whatever it is that you did. So I mean, I guess it means something to you, but it means absolutely nothing to me. So. That's an energy that I feel like, you know, should be either, you know, analyzed. And then when you when you catch it, then it's kind of like, okay, do you separate yourself from this? Or are you a person who just likes some sort of a drama in your life and it's kind of like, oh yeah, I understand this person's doing this and that, but whatever, I like a little bit of drama. That's fine, it, it's very circumstantial. I'm just saying, energies like that, it can't help you grow. And we're supposed to be able to help each other grow you know if a person is not if a person is thinking about oneself versus the collective or if we could be a team in a situation then i feel like that type of person is going to drain you out they're not gonna they're not there to help in any type of way besides help themselves 
So that type of energy you want to try to stay away from because <laughs> it's, it's plenty of it out there. Let me just say it like that because you can meet a person for the first time and click with them so easily like, oh, wow, like this person is awesome. You know, and we have so many things in common. We this, 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 and this, that. And then come to find out that that person is not who you thought they were because people wear masks. People are, people are actors and actresses or just actors because I, I feel like um, someone said one day that um, women are called actors now. So I'm going to respect that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, people are actors. And they will act as long as they can act until, I guess, you figure it out or let, until they get bored of the situation and they're like, okay, um, this is no longer interesting, me, interesting to me, so I'm just going to move on. You know, no explanation, no nothing. Just, ah, eh, I'm out, I'm good. So that's the type of energy that I recommend people to stay away from because it just it just doesn't do anybody any real good besides the person that's deciding to use you or the person that's deciding to utilize you in such a way to where it's kind of like it's about them and it's not about y'all. Um, to get on to another type of energy, um, uh, energy that, like say for instance, right? If you're a person who lives alone or you're a person who lives with other people, um, there's a certain energy that you have to have in your own home. Because these energies that I'm mentioning have a lot to do with like your mental health. And your mental health has literally everything to do with you. Because if you're not mentally healthy or you're not mentally stable in certain ways, then you can make a lot of irrational decisions. You can, you know, you, you see plateaus in a lot of the things that you are trying to do, a lot of the things that you want to do. A lot of the things that you think that you, you know, that you have in place to do but can never execute, energy has a lot to do with that. You know, you have to set yourself up in certain ways to where you're able to get done what needs to be done or whatever without, without over utilizing another person and you can't help them or, or, you know, making it to where it's kind of like you're giving yourself way too many things to do and your hands are in everything and then you're like wondering why things are not going the way that it's supposed to go and it's because you're overwhelmed and you just don't see it or you see that you're overwhelmed but for some reason you still feel like you can handle things which is i don't understand that part at all <laughs> like you know master one thing and then move on to the next like i've always believed in that when i went to business school we were they were drilling that into our heads like look when you are doing something business wise or anything wise make sure you take bites that you can actually chew not oh I'm gonna tackle into this I'm gonna dibble lab I'm gonna dibble into this or dabble into that and it's kind of like you're not you're not actually being successful in anything that you're getting yourself involved with like you, things are just plummeting or things are not going the way that you is expected to go now don't get me wrong when you're doing anything there, uh, there is always a chance that things are not going to go exactly the way it was planned. Just like when you do a presentation, you rehearsed it 99,000 times. However, however, when you go up there and you present it, you're presenting it completely different from the way that you were rehearsing it for all of that time. So that's just to say that things are not always going to go exact. But when you're setting yourself up a certain type of way, you make your success uh, rate or your success a lot more plausible, a lot more reachable. And as much as we want to think that we can take on so many different things, we can't. We're humans. You know, we don't have special abilities and stuff like that. We have to go in a very humanistic fashion. And when you don't do that, then you notice that it's a lot of things that are happening that is completely out of your control because you are doing way too much. So that type of energy, give yourself less. Give yourself less. Don't see that you have things that are already, you know, kind of stretching you thin and then you just go add something else onto that because that's not how you become successful. It's not. You can't, like, how, you, how can you save money when every time you turn around you're spending it? You know, it's like that. That's that's an, another example that I can use. Like, oh, I'm trying to save up, uh, whatever. Let's say something small, like six hundred dollars. But every every day, I'm spending like ten to twenty dollars. 
how long do you think it's going to take you to actually save up the six? Because <laughs> you keep dip, you keep you know digging in it, and you're not actually you know being disciplined enough to just be like, okay, I'm going to focus this on on this. If I have to spend any type of money, it's going to be a necessity. And at this point, I have everything that I pretty much need. So yeah, it's the same thing. You just I'm just using that example but it's energy it's the energy that you allow yourself to have you can't have this much energy and you're doing this much stuff like you have to go according to the amount of energy that you have so that it can add on to your energy and you can build up some sort of a momentum for what it is that you're trying to do and then success comes in in that or whatever because like at the end of the day, like I said, we're talking about energy. So when you don't have the energy to do a lot of the things that you're trying to do or that your heart desires, you have to take steps back. Now, the idea of taking steps back, people really don't like that because it's kind of like, well, I have to take steps back. I want to do this. I want to do that. And it's kind of like, well, how do you get to do that when you can't focus on one thing at a time? You know, I see a lot of people, even people in my life, like people in my life, they have their very goal orientated or oriented. And that's a beautiful thing because, yes, being, you know, um, productive is completely a great thing. Like, I can't see a person saying anything negative about someone being, you know, productive. However, you have to be productive in ways that are going to not hinder you because you're taking on more than you can actually handle. Some people, they have way more on their plates than other people, but the way you manage these things help ultimately with your success of it. You know, you could create this, you can create that for yourself, and then it's kind of like, okay, these are my ideas. But you can't try to make all of your ideas realities all at the same time. It's just not, it's not reasonable. And like I said, it's a positive thing that you're trying to do. You just have to take steps back. You can't just keep putting on and putting on and putting on. Just like when it comes to like your hair or something like that, right? Now you're using good products in your hair, but if you cheap, if you keep putting the products on and you're not washing it or clarifying, guess what's going to happen? Something negative. More likely, something negative is going to happen because you're putting way too much into something that you're not even balancing in any type of way like to wash your hair is to balance it out to put more other to to put more other <laughs> to put other products in there or put more product in there that is actually benefiting your hair in some type of way so it's the same thing with how you conduct yourself in life and what type of energy you put into certain things like yes sometimes we get very very bored of things and it's kind of like ah oh, I'm wait I'm ready to like move on to something else. However, did you actually succeed in what it was that you first started? Because if you haven't succeeded in it, then you getting bored, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know if that was something that you really wanted to do because how do you get so how do you get bored with it so easily if that's something you really wanted to do? You in your mind, you wanted to do it because you felt like it was interesting at the time and then when it didn't move at the pace that you wanted it to move, you lost interest. That is not something that you have a passion for. That is something that you found to be interesting, but you couldn't keep enough attention span to actually execute it. I mean, if a person, if someone can come up with a different, um, a, a different um, analogy or, you know, something, something different that, that goes against what I just said, please, you know, I, I invite, I welcome these things because maybe you see something differently than I see it. But the way that I see it is you wasn't really that interested in it. You were just hoping that being as though it caught your interest, it would do something significant for you. That's not the same as having an actual passion for something. It's not. You can, you can convince yourself that you have a passion for certain things, but you just really don't. And you're interested in a lot of things, which is fine. You know, we, we are allowed to be interested in whatever we want to be interested in. However, 
having a passion for something and being interested in it is completely two different things. And please distinguish the difference between the two because there are a lot of people with their hands in different cookie jars and they're allergic to these cookies over there. And they those cookies are really nasty actually, but they look good. You know, have you ever had a cookie that actually looked good, but it was just disgusting? Like, <laughs> I've had one and I, I, it's just like, wow. I'm so misleading. <laughs> so disappointing but um i digress but i'm just trying to use examples that people can really understand as far as where i'm going with this whole energy thing because energy plays a super big part in how we conduct our lives the things that affect us in certain ways because if you don't have energy or if you don't have the right type of energy that can put a handle on everything so Analyze people, not not don't like, okay, so let me just make a couple things clear about the analyzation of another individual. Don't make it so damn gone obvious that you analyzing a person because that is annoying and a person is gonna pick up on that and it's gonna annoy the crap out of them because they're like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> you ain't trying to annoy people. You're just trying to get, you know, the real person like some people they're so consistent in their personalities and in their characteristics it's no it's a no-brainer that their intentions are, are good but then you have the types that it's like they're on sometime they're off sometime and it's kind of like why where why is there such an inconsistency in the way that you are with me or the way that you are in general and some people they just they, that, that's just their personality but don't take that for oh that's their personality i'm just going to accept it for what it is and in all reality, that person is just using you or they just taking advantage in any type of way that they can. They want you around because they know that you're, you know, gonna be on that, oh, oh like, you know, pretty much like a yes man to them. Just without them saying that. Because to actually say that out loud, a person will, you know, look at you like, you serious? But some people are yes men and, and women and they don't really, they don't really realize it because the connection that they have with the person is not the same connection that that person has with you. So just keep uh, just keep a close eye out on things like that because what happens is when you put people to the test and not to say put people through tests is just you know pay attention that's what i'm saying i'm not saying test people you know because if i knew a person was trying to test me that would annoy the hell out of me and at the end of the day it's like i don't want to be around you because i don't know what you're doing i don't feel like what you're doing is necessary and some people uh, uh, get offended about it or whatever the case is. Don't do that. You know, if, if anything, if if you can't do anything else, be consistent in your personality with them. Don't don't listen to what like I'm saying right now and then go and be like, oh yeah, I'm about to see if this person is who they say they is and all that. No, don't do that because that can really ruin a friendship or a relationship because you're actually, you know actively analyzing a person no just pay attention to certain things if certain things stand out to you don't take a blind eye to that like actually put it in your in your archive because it's kind of like hmm okay whatever not gonna think much of it right now but then if it reoccurs again then it's kind of like okay there's an actual pattern happening here you know and Maybe it's something to it, maybe it's not, but then, you know, don't be afraid to like ask questions, like certain questions, like, oh, why did you do that like that? Or, you know, something like that. And then, you know, if it's a, if it's a legitimate logical explanation, then it's kind of like, okay, we could drop this. But if it's crap, because you know when a person's giving you crap, if it's crap, then now you have to be like, okay, the, the, the decisions are now up to you now as far as how you want to deal with this person or if you want to deal with this person at all. You know, so that's the way that I do things. Um, a lot of the people that are in my circle or whatever, or most of the people that are in my circle are very genuine people, people who I can trust, people who have my best interests at heart and, who's at, and who has shown that. It's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video off with, people can tell you a whole lot of things about who they are, how they are, and what they do, what they don't do, but they can't tell you better than showing you that. People, they say all kinds of things and they try to make it sound so good, like, oh yeah, da da da, da and I do this and that. And, they, and it sounds like a really great story. And it's like, wow, I'm really into this story. You should make a book. 
you know, you should write, you should uh, make a movie or write a book or something like that. Like the the story is so juicy and great, and it's like, wow, so that's amazing. This is this, this I know that this my friend. You know, like no, you, you go according to what people do. You know what they do. Some things that are based upon their actions, because if their actions are not syncing up with what they say, what they say really don't mean nothing. And it will never mean anything. And they'll keep spitting that garbage to you as long as they actually can. And if you keep receiving it the way you're receiving it, then the only person that's benefiting from that relationship is them. And that's it. So keep more a keep more of a closer eye on how you would like your energy to be distributed between you and other people or just in general with you like how would I like my energy to be around me you know I particularly I'm a person I can laugh at anything because I feel like laughing is health that's me keeping myself healthy laughing finding things to laugh about some people I've met people who are annoyed by the fact that I laugh at everything but at the end of the day that's me so if you can't accept that, then that's too damn bad. Like I, I have no, I have no bone in my body that gives a, a crap about you not liking the fact that I like to be happy. So if that's your case or whatever the case is, sorry. However, I don't care. Like you can remove yourself from my circle or whatever the case is. If you even are really in the circle, like you know, you could be an acquaintance and it's like, oh, why you laugh at everything? It's kind of like because I find things funny. You know, but some people, they just don't like that. They feel like, well, they're not feeling so that so so good. So why are you always laughing or why are you always smiling at something or whatever the case is? And it's kind of like, because I can. You know, and I, it, it's this choice. It's a conscious choice that I made. It's not something that I needed your permission for or felt like, you know what? Let me get the consent of this person before I go around, you know, laughing and smiling at things. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me let me go ask this person. I don't need to ask for no, no permission to, to be happy, to be me. I'm going to be me. It's just the fact of, you, do you accept me for me? Because if you don't, then that's just too damn bad. You know, I accept people for who they are. Like, if I decide that I that I want to be around you and, and you're in my circle in some type of way, that means I accept you for who you are. I'm not trying to change you in any type of way. I'm not going to, like, if I see some type of, something that I find alarming, then I may bring it to your attention. But it's completely up to you if you want to actually take that advice. But, you know, if it continues and it's something that's negative, then I, I, I make the decision on who I want to be around. Not anybody else. So... Use that and, and, and say like, okay, yeah, this is how I want to be. You know, look at yourself in a, in a better way to where it's kind of like, I'm, I'm special. I'm somebody who matters, especially to me. And at the end of the day, what's best for me is to not have that person around me. Or what's best for me is to have this person around. Like, I'm going to stay close to this person because I feel like this person can teach me something. I feel like I can help this person with certain things as well. That's the idea that you need to have in your head when it comes to the type of energy that you want to have around you. Because if your energy is a certain type of way, energy is contagious. Just like when a person walks into the room and they have such a negative vibe or aura around them, they're going to bring that room down crashing because they are so negative or they're in a negative headspace at the moment and they want to share that misery as widely as they possibly can share it because they're not feeling so good. So when you detect stuff like that, it's either you can give a person a little bit of advice like, oh, how you do? Because, you know, sometimes when you just have a little bit of compassion for someone, it changes the way that they think about how their day is going. So if a person is, they, they kind of look like they're being introverted, but you know their extrovert personality. And it's like, hmm, let me be a friend right now. You know, and even, even when it comes to family, like you can still be a friend. Like, let me be a friend right now and just kind of like ask, you know, but don't do it just to do it. Do it because you legitimately have the time to do something like that. And if that person you know, hits you with a bunch of baggage or whatever they want to hit you with or whatever, or like, you know, air air overload, then be try to be ready for that because at some point in time in your life, you're going to need that as well. And if that person, if you really was able to kind of help that person uh, achieve like some sort of a breakthrough emotionally, they will be, they will be so enthusiastic and grateful to do it for you 
when that time comes because it will you know what i'm saying sometimes you go through certain things and you feel like you don't have anybody to kind of turn to and talk to about something and then you think about like hold on maybe i go to this person you know i lent them an ear once upon a time and it, it seemed to help so maybe they'll be willing to lend me an ear so i can kind of get some things off of my chest so that my mental can go back to normal you know, because people, when you're upset, you think of all kinds of different things and you're, you're not being as responsible anymore because you kind of have this I'm over it kind of vibe going on and the feeling that, you know, life happens. So at the end of the day, different things go through your mind as far as how you want to deal with things. So, yeah, do that. But that that's the that's kind of what you want to the direction you want to go into with it, not, you know, being somebody's just man or being somebody's just woman or, you know, just having negative around you, you know it, but you still, for some reason, some weird reason, you want to still be around this person or these people. Don't do it because at the end of the day, it only, it only wastes your time and it, it's trouble. It's, that's just trouble. It's not something that you can really just be on some, oh no, I, I can hang around this person and not, you know, feel like this person is not helping me with growing as a person myself like those are the type of people you want so if you if you plan on being successful in any type of way pick your people the right way first and then you start noticing like hmm i think i'm making a lot of good decisions with my crowd and that's super important because your crowd can determine like say for instance you lose your job or something like that right if you have a bunch of people around you that ain't about nothing who's supposed to help you get a job who who can who can say oh you know what? I I, I, I deal with a, a, a lot of people of this industry or whatever the case is. I may know somebody who can help you. Why wouldn't you want that? But if you got people who are around you who got bad energy, they don't really have any real goals that they're trying to go for. You know, they, that they're not being productive themselves and it's just kind of like, we hanging. That person cannot do anything for you at all. Besides be company, like <laughs> your company is just company. You know, you could, you could get a dog for that. You know, you could get a cat, you know, get a pet or something like that. You want company, get a pet. But to have a person, an actual person who's capable of different things because they're not paraplegic. You know, they, well, not to say paraplegic person is not capable of things. It's just like this person has everything going on. They can have everything going on and they just choosing not to do anything or they just choosing, oh, I want to chill. I want to relax, you know, and it's kind of like you always relaxing. Like, <laughs> do something with yourself or whatever, or like, like let's do something, let's motivate each other type situation. That's the type of energy that you want around you. Now, if you guys like this topic, or if you like, ooh, if you guys like this topic, or if you like other, if you like topics that's similar to this, or you like just topics in general, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk about different things or whatever like that. I'm, I consider myself a very informed person, and I have an opinion about things, and I like to be very, I, I like to try to be as logical as I possibly can be when I'm speaking, so that I won't sound stupid, <laughs> and sound like I'm just, you know, talking just to talk, and it's not really anything that... A person can actually gain from what I say so leave a comment down below and let me know if you want to hear more things advice wise things dealing with like mental health or whatever the case is because this is a health channel so mental health physical health any type of thing that deals with anything that can benefit you and make you a better you leave that comment down below like <laughs> comment obviously because i just pressed you on that not, not pressed you but i just like you know i fed you but um comment and subscribe and if you guys want to see every time that i put out a new video hit the bell because i don't think people are hitting the bell just hit the bell you know like we we go through this every so often y'all act like y'all don't know how to hit the bell just hit the bell matter of fact hit the bell right now You hit it? 
Okay, like let's get it, let's get it together. Hello, like we we a team. See me, I'm a team player. Like I always been a team player. So you know, let's be a team because y'all my team and just, and hit the bell. And then for the new guys or whatever, I know you guys are, are not a part of the team yet, but I want you to be a part of the team and I want you to hit that bell, hit that like button, hit a lot of things that's in the con. You, you, like just you see the video, hit stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you know, let's keep this let's keep this coming like i have a, a lot of stuff to give to you guys and i want to give it to you yeah. so let's let's do this right so with that being said i want you guys to live life and i will see you in the next video